Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have an exponential equation that involves prime numbers. Let's go ahead and take a closer look to see how we can solve this question. We're looking for the sum of a, b, and c given that a multiplied by b to the power of b multiplied by c plus a is equal to 2000 and we are confined to prime numbers only. So to begin, let's try to work on this equation right here and try to simplify it by taking out a. So I'm going to rewrite this equation as a bracket b to the power of b multiplied by c plus 1 is equal to 2000. For the next step, since we are dealing with prime numbers, let's go ahead and break down 2000 into its basic factors. So what I have is 2000 I'm going to put a 2 here, so that's 1,000, another 2, that's 500, another 2, 250, put a 5, that's 50, another 5, that's 10, another 5, that's 2. So in other words, I can rewrite 2,000 as 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 to the power of 4, multiplied by 5 cubed. If I double check my answer, I have 16 multiplied by 125, which is equal to 2000. I have now established 2 and 5 to be the factors of 2000, and both of which are prime numbers. So in other words, I can safely conclude that A is equal to either 2 or 5. Let's consider the first scenario a is equal to 2. So what I have is 2 multiplied by b to the power of b multiplied by c plus 1 is equal to 2000. In other words, b to the power of b multiplied by c plus 1 is equal to 1000. b power b multiplied by c is equal to 999. So our next step is going to be taking a look at this number and try to break it down into prime numbers in such a way that it would fit into this equation or this rather this expression format. So let's go ahead and try to do that. I have 999 is obviously equal to 3 multiplied by 333. From here, I know that 3 is a prime number. So let's work on 333. It will be 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 111. Continue to break it down. That's equal to 3 times 3 times 3 times 37. If we consider all the numbers that we have here, we notice that all four of them are prime numbers. And on top of that, I can rewrite this to be 3 to the power of 3 multiplied by 37. So substitute that into our expression here. I can say that that 999 is equal to 3 to the power of 3 multiplied by 37. That's 999. So I can safely conclude that B is equal to 3. C is equal to 37. And don't forget our a is equal to 2. That's going to be our first combination. Now let's focus on our second scenario with a is equal to 5. So if a is equal to 5, my basic equation becomes 5 multiplied by b to the power of b multiplied by c plus 1 is equal to 2000. So b to the power of b multiplied by c plus 1 is equal to 400. b power b multiplied by c is equal to 399. Again, we are going to follow the same method. We are focusing on this number and trying to turn it into basic, um, I mean prime factors. So what I'm going to do is 399 is equal to 3 times 133. 3 is obviously a prime number, so let's focus on 133. I'm going to 
break that down into 3 times 7 times 19. If we consider all three numbers, all three of them are prime, meaning none of them will fit into the format of b to the power of b. So, in other words, for the second scenario, we don't have a feasible answer. So, a equal to 5 will be rejected, meaning ultimately, the answer that we have for a plus b plus c is equal to 2 plus 3 plus 37 which is equal to 42. That will be the final answer for today's question. I thank you for watching this video. Have a good day. Goodbye.